Did you know that The Weekend Cruiser has a website, theweekendcruiser.com? And even more importantly, or shockingly, I should say, did you know that I actually created that? So I'm really to say that the next iteration of this has allowed me to now start a newsletter and I want you all to sign up so I can keep you posted on the latest group cruise information. Hey everybody, this is Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And I'm super excited to tell you that I figured out how to make a newsletter specifically so I can stay up with you on going on group cruises and kind of learn what kind of group cruises you're interested in. Now, first of all, I love going on group cruises. We've got our second one coming up this coming weekend, but I love meeting all of you. You're why I do this channel, because when I'm doing YouTube, I mean, you all can't see right now, but I'm sitting in a state interior state room by myself talking directly to a camera. There, there's nobody that I'm looking at. And so I love meeting you all to remind me that there's people on the other side of this video that are gonna see this content, find value in this content. And I love getting ideas from you and hearing your feedback on how to make the channel better. So I want you to come with me on more group cruises. Now to do that, you just gotta go down to the bottom and sign up to be part of the newsletter and I will keep you up to speed. We have not decided on our 2024 group cruises yet. I wanna do multiple of them. We have one coming up again, I said this Friday on the Lord of the Seas, which is a weekend sailing. And I want the people that are there to be able to weigh in on where's the next group cruise going to go. I think that if you're already on a group cruise, you have a little bit more stronger weight on where the next one's gonna go. But as some of you have seen, I've posted in the Facebook group that you know I, I, I wanted to learn what everybody else wanted as well. And the things that I'm hearing for that is, number one, you prefer a four night over a three night weekend cruise. I do too, so we'll see if we can work that out. I also, no surprise or shock to anyone, you prefer Royal Caribbean over the other cruise lines. With, you know, if Royal is too expensive, let's say, you would prefer to go on a celebrity sailing if it is more value or if it's a cheaper price for a very similar cruise. And I was, the shocking thing that came out of this to me was that you all are actually considering Virgin Voyages, that you would do a Virgin Voyages group cruise, not to the same tune as Royal or Celebrity, but it's not off the table. I thought that, that was a big surprise. The one that is off the table that I thought was a surprise to me at least is MSC. So you all showed no interest in going on an MSC sailing whatsoever. So we'll see if we make it there. I think they just have some sailings that are just such a great value, especially for us solo cruisers. We might be able to work something out there, but I promise nothing is one of some conversations. So make sure you're heading over to theweekendcruiser.com, signing up for the newsletter. The newsletter is going to ask you a few questions. Are you a solo cruiser? LGBTQ plus cruiser? Are you looking at going international? So meaning you want to get out of the Caribbean. You'd love to go to the Mediterranean, the Persian Gulf, the Baltic Sea. I love doing those as well. And maybe one day, long term, this is probably a 2025 thing, we might be able to do a longer sailing together outside of Caribbean waters, which I think would be super neat. Especially when I think of solo cruisers like, you all know I love you, you are my people. Um, I would love to do an international trip designed for solo cruisers, because I think when I started solo cruising, going international was the one that gave me the biggest anxiety because there are so many things that I just was uncertain of. And having a group to go with me would have made a huge difference. So that might be something we look at doing in the coming years as well as having cruises dedicated or focused on solo cruisers. Regardless of how you answer these questions and say, yes, Brennan, I want to know about all of these, we're going to make sure that you stay informed on the latest group cruise information. And you are always welcome to join any of them. Regardless, if you fall into any of those buckets, you will always be welcome. Even if I say we're going to focus on this kind of person, that's really just more for how I'm going to market it. But I would love for you to join us on every single one of these cruises. So that make sure you're heading over to theweekendcruiser.com, signing up for the newsletter so I can keep you up to date on where we're going to be going in 2024 and beyond for group cruises. I would love nothing more than to meet each and every one of you. And this is a great opportunity and way that I think we can do it is by going on group cruise together, something that you know I personally love. And if you're watching this channel, I hope you enjoy going on cruises as well, or at least living vicariously. Come on with us. We'd love to have you. I'd love to meet you and learn more about you. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, hoping to see you on a Weekend Cruiser group cruise soon.